Welcome to our home out in the country. My name is Doug. And I'm Ashley. We are in the mobile home and working on it so that we can sell it soon. One of the problems that we have is our bedroom is kind of connected to the house and I'll show you. This is our bedroom and as you can see something is missing. The bed, I took it out because it's going to be in the way for a little while. You can see that this is the living room. The door comes in to the bedroom and you pass through the bedroom to get to the bathroom and the other bedroom. So basically what the previous, one of the previous owners did was remove the wall. So there would have been a wall right here and you could see the old wall line and they shoved the, the, the old light switch and everything up in the ceiling. Um, they probably wanted a bigger room and mobile homes are like notorious for like the narrow dark hallways. They just figured they'd take the wall out I guess. We think it'll be a bad selling point because it kind of makes it a non-private bedroom, not even a bedroom. So basically we're going to build a new wall back in place where it originally was to create a bedroom again and hopefully that is a better selling feature for potential buyers. Yeah. I don't think most people would like this bedroom opened up like this. Yeah. But we do want to keep it light and open. That's one of our things that we liked about it is we have the light from the front, the light or from the back, from the front, and the room feels open. We're gonna attempt to build a wall while keeping an open, airy, light feeling. So the wall is framed, it looks really good. I decided to stagger these um, for a reason that you'll see coming up. It's gonna be looking good. But here's the good news. I pulled the electrical outlet out of the ceiling and they left the wire. So that's really good that they didn't cut it. Now I have plenty of wire to get it down back into the wall where it belongs. So I'm gonna turn off the power, work on that, and uh, maybe get the wall put up in place. I just drilled a hole through here to send the wire through. So I'm gonna be lifting the wall up, shoving the wire through there, getting it in place. And then we're gonna be solid, ready to move on. All right, we like to be upfront with you guys, so I'm gonna tell you what just happened. I was putting the wall up and it didn't fit, and I was like, what is going on? I know I measured and double measured and triple measured and everything. And this is a big lesson for like, don't work when you're tired. I cut all this wood last night, it was late. Sometimes we gotta do crunch time because, you know, it's hard to get everything done in a day. So I, it was late, I was very tired, I was working, getting everything ready for today so I could do this quickly. And somehow I cut all my boards an inch and a half too long so it wouldn't fit. So I had to take this top piece off and cut all the ends off an inch and a half down and then reattach this board back on. I find that when you try to work tired, you often make mistakes like that. I think what I did was I added a measurement instead of taking away, just a simple math uh, error. But it should be good to go up now. But it was a mistake and I fixed it, so hopefully it fits this time. And 
end up probably wasting more time than if I just waited till today and cut them. So, lesson learned. Hello. Now that's a good fit. I'm gonna be shimming up the bottom. I intentionally left it three quarters of an inch shorter than the ceiling. So when I stood it up, I'm not rubbing on the ceiling hard. And I'm gonna shim it up underneath with some three quarter inch boards. But it's looking good so far. Mm. Yeah, mm. I know, I made a mess. It's another rainy day, so we're kind of running low on light, but the wall is up. It's in with a little snug, but well, it looks good. The wire is through the hole. And let me show you what we're gonna do with that. All right, so now things are gonna start to get interesting. You know when we build, we like to be a little bit creative. We like to think outside the box. Um, every time we do like our own house projects, we try to do things a little bit more unique. And even though we're trying to sell this, we're still gonna give it our touch. So we're gonna try something brand new. This is our idea for like keeping the hallway bright and open feeling. This is, the, this is just an idea, so we don't know how it's gonna feel when it's done, but we're gonna see how it comes out. And basically what we're gonna do is make a translucent wall. And it's gonna let light through it, but it's gonna be a diffused light, so you can't see it. You have the privacy, but you have the light, and it doesn't feel like a dark paneling. Um, basically we're gonna be leaving the back of the wall open and just putting a polycarbonate sheeting on the other side. It's gonna look good, I think. It's gonna have a modern touch in a retro old vintage trailer. So it's gonna be a slight clash of, of styles, but I think it'll work. I think it's gonna look good. And we're gonna see how it feels when it's done. So I picked up two sheets of, of diffused polycarbonate. It's like a twin wall polycarbonate, and I'll show you that when I bring it in. Basically, we have an unpaneled wall right now. And to make it look better, we're gonna paint the frame white before we put the plastic up. So let us get painting and working on that, and then the plastic go, go up last, and it should be a pretty awesome thing. Yeah. But the electrical wiring will be exposed because we're leaving the back open. So what I'm gonna do is conduit. You know me, I love using conduit. So what I did was I put together just a, a box, with a fitting and a three foot tube on top. And let me see, I don't know if I can focus that, but it's basically a bushing that goes on top and it protects the wire when it goes down. Normally you don't use conduit, let go. So normally you don't use conduit for Romex. Romex is the wires that are in, inside your wall, the, the coated cable that has the two, the three wires inside the sleeve. But for a short run, you can do it. Just let it breathe. Don't use a tight conduit. This one's three quarter inch. And we're just gonna slide the wire down there and protect it. So you'll see it come together in a minute. Like that. So here's the wall all painted and it's looking awesome. And we got the electrical all in so the light can be back on. And we painted the conduit white to match the wall. It's pretty good looking. I'm going to be capping the ends to just prevent dirt and bugs or whatever from getting inside the panel. So I'm just using some foil tape. This is a weather waterproof foil tape. You can hear the chicks. And this will be all hidden under the trim. So you won't actually see this. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. This is cool.
just to hold it in place while we do the trim. Let me get my tape measure and just measure. All right, we'll get the next piece on now. This is looking awesome. It's coming out really good. But I need to get the door in place before I can finish up the trim work on this side of it. And we're gonna be using the door right here because we don't want a door in the hallway. And we're gonna be swapping it over here. So I'll get that done and then we'll come back. Now I just cut strips of paneling and I'm gonna be using these right on the studs to fasten these on. It's gonna give it kind of a screened wall look um, and the wood accents are gonna look really cool. So I'm just gonna be nail nailing these right through the plastic with uh, paneling nails. The wall is complete and it looks awesome. I think it came out better than both of us expected. We were a little nervous going into just starting it because we thought, I hope this doesn't look dumb when it's finished. But it looks awesome. It, it actually fits the trailer, it doesn't stick out. And it accomplishes exactly what we wanted. You can see right here, it's letting all kinds of light in the room, but keeping it private. We actually have a bedroom now with a door, and we can yep. have privacy and it's uh, like a lot of people when they look at a house they're not going to be happy if they don't have a, a true bedroom so we just painted the studs white we put the polycarbonate on and we ended up ripping strips of uh paneling to put on the outside and that gives it a really cool effect it looks really good from the other side uh we still have some trim work to do you can see light through the door we got to finish the door trim the door stops aren't on and some uh, basic trim in here. And you can see out here we have the, the trim all finished and that looks so cool. I think the way we did the wood matches the trailer. It almost has like a retro feel to it. I don't know, I think it looks cool. And the way we staggered the wood. And again, it keeps the hallway light because now we're getting the light from the bedroom coming through. Yeah, if this was like a paneled wall, it would just feel like a big tunnel. A Dark, you'll see how dark it is down there? Yeah. Up here? It's beautiful. People are going to think this is really cool. It's awesome. I would think it's cool walking into a home like this. Yeah. And while we were working on this, we also did the ceiling because that really needed to be replaced. So we did some shiplap. And we still have to hole fill and paint. Now we stopped here because the rest of the ceiling wasn't too bad. So we just replaced the bad, bad stuff over here. And when it's all done and painted and trimmed out, it's gonna look totally fine. So I think this was a really good solution for the common problem that people have in trailers and that's that narrow dark hallway. And we solved it and we're happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the project and the video. And if you did, hit the like button. And until next time, take care. Bye.